Hey, what's up everyone? I've been receiving a ton of requests lately to explain my code instead of simply sharing screen recording. I wanted to make sure I found a way to make it happen and keep things interesting for you. We're going to make this tutorial top notch by having the code explained as we go along. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a modern link hover animation using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. If you've ever seen this effect on some of the most aesthetic websites out there and wondered how it's done, then this tutorial is for you. I'm excited to share this new format with you all. I hope you find it helpful and entertaining. Let's get started. Alright, let's dive into the code. We're starting with HTML, and it's pretty straightforward. We just need a container that holds all the links we want to apply the hover animation to. So in this case, we have a div with a class of container, and inside it, we have five anchor tags, each with a class of text. Don't worry about the text inside the anchor tags for now, we're just using some placeholders. So let's move on to the next step, adding some style with CSS. Now that we have our HTML structure in place, it's time to add some style to it. First, we have some color variables defined in our CSS, which we'll use throughout the rest of our code. Moving on, let's start with basic styling for the body element, setting the width and height to 100VW and 100VH respectively, which makes the body take up the full viewport. Then, we use Flexbox to center our container vertically and horizontally. Finally, we set the background color for the body. And that's it. Next, we'll style the container itself. We'll give it a width of 75% of the viewport and use Flexbox again to position its contents. We'll set the flex direction to column to stack the contents vertically and use the justify content property to space them evenly. We'll also align the items to the left, which will give our text a nice, natural look. Let's add some style to our links. We'll start by removing any boring text decorations and giving it a fresh new look with the crooner font family. Of course, we can't forget about setting some other font properties to really make it pop. And while we're at it, let's also set the height and overflow to hidden. We'll need these properties later on when we clone the letters and hide them until they're hovered over. Next, let's add a hover selector and a play class selector to our text class. We'll set the transform property to translate Y to move the letters up and out of view when hovered or played. We'll also add a block selector for the last child of the text class and set its color to our primary color. Now it's time to bring our letters to life. To do this, we'll add a letter class to our text element and set its display to inline block. To make the animation look extra smooth and buttery, we'll use cubic bezier timing function. This will give our letters a natural, flowing motion that's a feast for the eyes. To add more visual interest, we'll stagger the animation for each letter by adding a transition delay property. This will create a cool, staggered effect for each letter by giving them their own delay. Keep in mind that the letter class will be applied to each letter using JavaScript, so hang tight and we'll get to that right now. Alright, time to bring this text to life. In order to do that, we'll need to grab all the links first. We'll start by creating a variable called inner text to store the text content of each element. Then, we'll create an empty container element using document. Create element and add a class called block to it using class list.add. This container element will hold all the individual letter elements that we'll be creating in the next step. Using a for loop, we'll iterate over each character in inner text and create a new span element for each letter. We'll add the letter as text content to the span and add a class called letter to it using class list.add. We'll also add a special character if the current letter is a space. It is used as a fallback option when a letter is empty or contains only white space characters. After creating all the span elements, we'll add them to the text container element using a pen child. Finally, we'll add the text container element twice to the original element. This is because we'll be using a CSS animation to move the letters upwards and we want the animation to repeat seamlessly. Once we've created all the necessary stuff, we'll use another loop to add an event listener to each element. The event listener will listen for the mouse over event and remove the class play from the element's class list. This will trigger the animation to play in reverse, giving a cool effect when the user hovers over the text. Thanks for hanging out with me and witnessing the magic of JavaScript. If you're feeling generous and want to support me in my quest to make more awesome content, consider getting a pro membership. Not only will you get access to a private Discord with 100 plus folks, but you'll also get the code for all the videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.